Okay, so next we are going to teach you how to connect your device to the Sephiro. Sephiro's run on Bluetooth, so you will have to go to settings and make sure that your Bluetooth is on. Ours is currently off, so we're gonna click on this and then slide the button over until it's green and now our Bluetooth is on. Next, we are going to find our EDU app. And this page will come up, but you don't need an internet connection. You go to Drive, and these bars will show you which Sephiro has the strongest signal that the iPad will connect to or the device will connect to. So this one has all four bars lit up, so we're gonna select this one. And there's connection. You will want to connect each Sephiro one at a time because if you try multiple connections at once, you won't know whose Sephiro belongs to which device. I am going to put a skin on the Sephiro. This helps to protect it from scratches and dirt and dust. There's a nice teal skin. I want to point out the controls here. This is your drive, so this will make your Sephiro move. But the first thing you want to show participants is to aim. The Sephiro has a little blue light inside that's like an eyeball. And in order for it to drive correctly, that light has to be facing toward you which I can't seem to do it, but we'll try again on the ground. And then you have colors, so I can change my Sephiro, different colors to get kind of a cool effect. This also helps if the Sephiro gets lost, if the person running it loses their Sephiro, they can change it a different color and then that way they can find it. So I'm going to put the Sephiro on the ground, oh yes. And then this is speed. Now this is at maximum speed. When driving the Sephiros, you don't want them at max because they can go out of control, they can bang into things and get damaged. So we're gonna bring it down to about the middle here. And then this is the light. So I can make it really dark, I can make it medium, or I can make it really bright. Now I will place this on the floor. And you don't have to move when you're driving a Sephiro. So now the blue light is facing away from me, so I'm going to turn it around and make it face me. So. Yep. They're challenging to operate because they're round. Does take practice to get them going in the right direction. <laughs> After the participant is doing really well, you can start using RAM for them to drive the Sephira over, and it's actually quite fun. If you find that it's not working very well, you can try to re-aim the robot. I think mine's stuck. <laughs> oh. On occasion, they will get stuck on uh, heat vents, carpet that's too bumpy. They won't roll outside on dirt or grass. dry so oh in case they any kids 
you know, play, they, they, they push the buttons and they came out or something. You can always come back in and we look for, I'm hoping that's the one. Let's see, I think maybe this is the one. Oh, yeah. And sometimes it will get out of the drive, so when it get out of drive. That always remains a mystery to me. Okay, okay. there we go. So when it, once see the Sephiro is still connected, but they got out of the um, drive mode, so we have we can just go back to the drive mode and keep connect. <laughs> 